Nearly 100 years ago, a Methodist woman named Lydia Patterson took it upon herself to teach English and Bible study at the homes of the poor in a neighborhood of South El Paso, Texas. Upon her death, Lydia's husband donated $75,000 to open a school in her name. For the next few minutes, we will see how today the Lydia Patterson Institute continues to offer hope and improve lives while developing disciples of Jesus Christ. Lydia Patterson represents a cutting edge understanding of how we can relate our Christian culture to people who are coming newly to the United States. Education is the key to anybody's future. Charles Wesley wrote the words, let us unite these two so long disjoined, knowledge and vital piety. That's part of what Lydia Patterson is trying to do. Educate, but to do so in a Christian context. As a mission school, Lydia Patterson has four key goals to represent the Christian faith as understood by the United Methodist Church, to provide quality bilingual cross-cultural academic education, to offer a center where local church leaders, clergy and laypersons may receive training and experience in sharing Christian witness and ministering with persons of other races and ethnic backgrounds, and to develop leadership skills in people interested in cross-cultural and international positions of ministry. Originally, the school, or La Lydia, as it's known affectionately by those close to it, educated young men and trained them for ministry. Then, in the early 1960s, the Methodist Church declared seminary was mandatory for those wishing to answer God's call as a pastor. Now, Lydia Patterson has a co-educational student lay ministry program with two years of Bible study required for graduation. Students may begin attending Lydia Patterson at the age of 12, and classes are conducted all the way through senior high school. The Institute is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, as well as the University Senate of the United Methodist Church. I see students that are equipped socially and physically and spiritually and intellectually that are equipped to make a real difference in this world. And I know that's what we want now, but it's what we want in the future as well. And if we do that, then we will have done something terribly significant, not only for the Church of Jesus Christ, but for the world itself. Many of the students here come from highly impoverished families, and some are orphans. 70% of them commute daily from just across the U.S.-Mexico border, although half are U.S. citizens born in the States and reared in Mexico. I think it's the most redemptive ministry I've ever seen. I'm talking about making a real difference in the lives of some very deserving kids who uh, have very little hope, very little income, very, very few prospects, but uh, given the opportunity to come to school, they just bloom like water to the desert. And they are doing exemplary work when giving the opportunity to make a real difference, not only in their own personal lives, but the lives of their family, and ultimately in the life of the whole world, because it changes the culture. One of the great benefits of La Lydia occurs upon graduation, when the school commits to find willing students admittance at a United Methodist College, where their tuition is covered by the college and a local church offers an internship, plus room and board. Because of this support network with Methodist universities and churches, 90% of Lydia Patterson graduates attend college. So that when you hear of young people who are leaving La Lydia and going to uh, SMU and then to Harvard and um, their influence is going to spread across not just the South Central jurisdiction and not touch just Methodism, but the world. Um, this is a place of uh, great promise and, and great value. Funding for the Lydia Patterson Institute comes from three sources equally, apportionments from the United Methodist Church, tuition, and fundraising. I think the school has uh, some real challenges before it uh, certainly, it needs to grow in its endowment and improve its facilities. And so, 
those challenges are, are, are there before us and we, we've got to as a jurisdiction and as a network of churches in the jurisdiction to support uh, Lady Patterson in overcoming those challenges. But the payoff, uh, the investment will be that it will be a school that uh, brings children into a good learning environment, prepares them for uh, university careers and for uh, learning in uh, graduate and postgraduate uh, level education. And I think will provide leadership for our churches, for our communities, and for our two nations. The great hope of La Lydia can be seen in the faces and heard in the voices of the older students as they talk about how their lives have been touched forever by this small school on the border. I just want to talk a little bit about how I got to Lydia Patterson. It all really started 30 years ago with my dad. <laughs> and uh, he said he had family problems at home, so he decided to come down here to El Paso and what is. And that when he got here, he saw a group of people standing by the river. And so he decided to go with them, and all of a sudden they started running. So we ran with them. <laughs> so he ended up here and came to school here, and he's been here ever since. And I'm really glad for that, because 30 years later, I'm standing here getting ready to graduate in a couple of months. Today, I am a senior at Lydia Patterson Institute, and number two in my class. I am looking forward to college, and my dream is to go to Duke University. I want to become a businessman and make my mom as proud of me as I am of her. When that day comes, she will no longer have to work as a housemate. That is my goal. Thank you. I met family and friends here. When I was dealt, they were always, they were always there. For me and my sister, we would have trouble with our father. We would always go to him for help. And he would give us advice and he would help us out. So you never should give up. Patterson really changed my life. I guess really God's watching over us. I know there's probably students out there that probably have, you know, the same issues as me. But in their name, that I want to thank you all for giving me the chance. Thank you. Lydia Patterson is one of the best ways in which we can touch the lives of young people and develop a new generation of Christian leaders, not only for Texas and New Mexico, but these young people are leaving to make a difference all over the United States as well as in Mexico. And by having a strong Lydia Patterson, we can help shape the future. The need for the Lydia Patterson Institute grows commensurate with the burgeoning Hispanic population in the United States. The leaders of La Lidia have cast an ambitious vision to grow the school to double its current size, including rebuilding the current facility. The new expanded school will be able to accommodate 250 additional students. Gifts for the construction fund are gratefully accepted on behalf of the Institute and, more importantly, by the future Hispanic leaders who will inevitably come forth from this place that is an ordinary school, but in so many extraordinary ways. I love this place. We've been through a great deal of struggle here. It's not easy being on the border, being a school that doesn't have a huge endowment. Uh, it's not easy, it's tough. But <laughs> this place has meant so much to the people whose lives it's touched that once you become a part of that, its love just reaches out and captures you. I just love this place. How are you all going to get home? You're the reason we do it.